It is now time to meet the ASPCA Cat of the Year. Flame was a stray cat that found a home at the Belmont Fire Department in South Carolina in 2015. In the years since, he has offered comfort and companionship to the firefighters and the community at large. Please welcome Flame and Belmont Fire Department Chief Anthony Seegers and firefighter Jordan Lead. Welcome, guys. And let me start by thanking y'all for your service. We are deeply appreciative of y'all and what you do to keep us safe. Thank you so much. So, Chief, how did, how did Flame end up at the firehouse? Uh, I went into work one day, and there was this little orange cat sitting there, and they were feeding him. And I just was talking to the guys. I said, why are you, where did the cat come from, and why are you feeding him? You know, we need to take him somewhere, let's get him home, take him to the Humane Society. Came into work one morning and he just walks up to me and starts rubbing on my leg and I'm like, I thought I told you guys to get take this cat somewhere. <laughs> right, right, but, uh, right. At that point he had become a, a, vital, a vital part of our team, I guess you could say, and uh, he was loved and uh, he shows the love to us as much as we, show, we try to show it to him. So. Uh, that's how he wound up there, but he's, he's a vital part of what we do every day. Now. I bet. So, Jordan, what kind of support does she give you and everybody at the firehouse? He's something you can count on in a very consistent job. You don't know what you're going to walk into that day when you come into work. You could experience, you know, the worst day of your life or somebody else's life. And to know that you have a consistency in your job, like Flame, that when you run a call, he's going to be watching you leave. When you get back, he's going to be there, you know. He's going to be like right there. When we get off the trucks, he's like, first you got to smell the trucks, and then he's, you know. That's so sweet. To, yeah. Chief, how is uh, Flame helping the kids in y'all's community? Well, we, we're open 24 hours a day, and so we have families and kids come in for tours all the time. We have scheduled tours with, with, uh, with schools, and um, we've used him lately. Uh, we've started doing some uh, printing our own uh, fire, pre excuse me, fire prevention material with his face on it because uh, just due to his Instagram account and uh, <laughs> all, all of those things, he, uh, oh he's very popular in, in our area. Chief, so do you have an Instagram account for yourself? I, I, I do just so I can follow Flame. <laughs> yeah, that's like, I love that. I have I three followers. That, that's all right, but you have four as of today. Chief, thank you for coming. Thank we sure yes, appreciate sir. it. Thanks a lot, yes, Jordan. Sir. We sure appreciate it. <laughs> Jessica and Patrick, thank you all so much. Thank you. And congratulations to Rescue and Flame. We'll be right back, y'all.